Hello everyone and welcome back to my art channel. This week we are designing my front cover for Netla and the Hushars, the comic prologue series. I know the comic is only like 8 pages long, but I thought it deserved the proper front page to to work in, in general. I just really love like the little story that I have and possibly, hopefully, I will continue making it uh, into a big series and a longer comic. So I thought I would show you guys the process of this cover from front like thumbnail stage to finished So as you can see I have made a few squares That's the size of the comic and I'm doodling and placing everything that I want in the front page and I've tried out a little bit of a different like some different ideas and Some of them works and some of them don't and I was very torn on which one to choose but I did go with the one where nettle is you see Nettle from the back and then the cat is in front of her and protecting her uh, from these other hush hush creatures and I thought that could be a really cool like play like on um, if I ever do like a proper series it's gonna be a new cover and I want that cover to be Nettle in the front and a cat wrapping around her because he's gonna be huge when he's fully grown so I thought that could be kind of cool since this is a prologue series and it's about when they first met and when cat was a kitten and I thought that would be pretty cool if I ever do <laughs> like the full series so as you can see I did the same thing that I do when I do my comic pages where I have the very rough sketch and then I make another rough sketch which is more detailed and closer to the final piece and then I go into the light art. I always do those two stages because the first one is just planning and figure out where things are gonna go. The second one is more detailed and expressions and all that and then the, the last is refining and just putting the line art in and then the colors and then the background will, which will like be mostly just these weird hush hush creatures hanging over them. Um, I'm I'm okay with this piece. I feel yeah, I feel okay with it. Um I think it's a good cover. I I as I said I was quite torn which uh, on which one to choose when I was doing the thumbnails. If you guys like any of the other thumbnails, please tell me and possibly I'll do another one. I I don't see why not do another one. Um could be kind of fun just to try and see um if I could make something better than this one. Um but it, it turned out alright. So we've come to that point in the video where I have nothing more to say about what I'm doing because my process is pretty much the same in every piece that I do. Uh, but if there is something new, I will tell you. But I did um, ask you in my previous video two weeks ago um, if there was any subjects or questions that you guys had that I could talk about while I'm doing my speed paints. Um, so it'll be a little bit more interesting than just me trying to ramble on. And um, the most popular ones uh, were, of course, how to design a character. But I feel like that will be better suited for... Um, yeah, showing you guys like a tutorial on Tuesday tips. So the the second one that was pretty interesting was um, like a little bit more about um, how it is to work in a concept art studio and just like how my parents reacted to me wanting to do art and, and, and stuff like that. So I thought I would kind of briefly talk a little bit about how it is to work in a studio. Um, I feel like... Maybe that should come in a later video. Um, I do kind of want to talk about like how to get there because I feel that's a little bit more interesting for you guys because I know most people who watch this channel or other art channels on YouTube, they ha still have like a way to go and they're working to get there. And I am, I have a long way to go and I know I can call myself a professional right now because I am working in the studio. Um, I have... Um, I still feel like I have a long way to go and but I am in this place where I can say that I am confident in what I'm doing and I feel like I found a style that I am I like um, I know that I have a long way to go when it comes to painting and stuff but for personal work I feel very comfortable so I wanted to, just to talk about um, how it is to like work to get to this point basically because it is a long road and when you're younger you would just 
never think that you will get there any any time but it's very important to look back and see where you're coming from and see like how far you already come and how far you need to go and and it's not that bad at all and even when you got a job like i have there's still a long way to go uh, before i'm perfect and you should never ever think that you're like done because when you think that you're done and you're like perfect with everything then you stop learning and you stop growing and i promise you like every artist that you look up to will still think that their art has a way to go and there's still stuff to improve upon and yeah just have that in mind that you're in the place now where you see a lot of artists and they're great and you're like oh my god i'll never get that far but along that way you might actually pick up stuff that will make you allow to allow you to make money of your art or like do it as a professional um and yeah it is very important to think that there's no end to this so just enjoy it and just focus your brain on learning and be humble and take critiques and comments from other people uh, and like just everything <laughs> just learn as much as you can it's all about being hardworking and not being like mean or annoyed at people trying to help you like there's something about getting feedback and critiques that it's it's hard um because sometimes you do stuff, you do art that you really, really love and you're so proud of it. And someone will come along and be like, oh, you should fix this and fix this. And it hurts. <laughs> it hurts so bad. But there is something there that you just have to push away your like ego and be like, yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, me and my friend, when I was going to school, we had this thing where... I would do art and we only have like a certain amount of time to do it and really press for time and I would draw and then suddenly my friend would come over my shoulder and be like um Dina there is something wrong there right there with the perspective and I'd be like oh, I hate you and then three seconds later I was like ah yeah you're right and then I have to fix it so it's something about just like coming like just get, getting over that hump of just like no this is perfect because it probably isn't and if you keep an open mind and like smile and be open to every comment that you can get like bad or good and just take it into consideration you'll get a far 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 away and be nice to people and just ask people like there's a lot of artists online that it's, they're open to questions and if you ask them something they'll they'll reply most likely with like a smile and um yeah be humble take critique ask for comments and if you're afraid to reach out to your favorite like artist don't be because what's the harm like what's the harm in just asking there's a lot of people who um they are afraid of putting themselves out there and like asking people directly for critiques or comments or help and how they like how do you do stuff because they're afraid that it'll be embarrassing and they'll laugh at them or I don't know what but I have learned something in the past two years that is very important to think about um, whenever you do something clumsy you will always think like, oh oh god remember when I did that and it was so embarrassing and blah 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 and you'll think that everyone remembers and you think that that'll stay in history forever but try to think back at when you remember someone else around you doing something super embarrassing and do you remember any of that like i can't remember anything of like what anyone around me probably thought was the most embarrassing thing they've ever done but i've never I don't remember that, so why would anyone remember when I did something stupid? It'll be just, just push it out of your mind, take risks, and just say hello, and I love your art, and please give me some comments. And I promise you, you'll be, maybe sometimes you'll not give a reply, but you will never ever be, like, um, no one will ever, like, hate you for asking or anything. So please do that and please keep your mind open and learn as much as you can. Be humble and be in enjoy the moment. Enjoy what you're doing right now. Whenever you're thinking, oh, this, I'm not getting better, look back at, at your previous art and then you can actually see how far you've come. 
the draw this again challenge is a perfect challenge to see that because you're doing the same character or same art piece and you can see what you've improved upon and I promise you you do learn a lot even without like even without conscious like consciously like learning like looking at tutorial your brain kind of picks up on stuff if you know that you need to learn it um so yeah just go out there and do art <laughs> so yeah this is the end of the video guys um i i hope you kind of enjoyed me rambling a little bit i just really i feel like there's there's a lot of artists that are like shy so i i feel like I have to say something, I don't know. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like it, you can like it. Um, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, I do videos every Friday, sometimes Sundays, and now I'm doing Tuesday tips. So you can subscribe if you want to see more of that. And if you want notifications, you can ring the little bell button. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.